Alright guys, hope you're doing well. So, in this video I'm going to address the elephant in the room, which is clearly me. <laughs> so, as many, as many people have noticed, and uh, comments, and this, that, and the other, and uh, even a few people have been making memes, <laughs> I've actually uh, put on some weight. Um, so I want to address that in the video and explain the reasons why, and uh, you know, I want to say straight up, it's uh, not the programme. Um, and if anything, I'm a testament to how well the program has worked. Um, but in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the reasons why, if you look at my old YouTube videos, I am uh, very thin. And uh, now, obviously, I've put on a few, few extra pounds. So, yeah, I started the program in 2011. And uh, I ended up losing weight uh, quite rapidly. I think I lost about a stone and a half when I first began the program, just because of, uh, you know, the, the diet restrictions, um, you know, I was, I was overeating on sugars and carbohydrates back then and a lot of stress. I was one of them individuals that actually uh, did the pro did the, uh, went cold turkey uh, with regards to the program. It's something that I try not to do. I, it's something that I don't recommend now as a client. I actually work with clients on a on a different basis whereby we're slowly easing them into it because going cold turkey is uh, is savage um, but anyway I ended up losing like a stone and a half and um, as you've heard me talk about on other videos I, I hit a wall on the program where I actually realized how extreme my sensitivity to sugars and carbohydrates were to a point where I, co I couldn't move forward on the program um, and this was you know we're talking 2011, so you know, 2012, 2013 is where I started to realise, you know, maybe a year into the program, how extremely sensitive I was to carbohydrates and sugars. So I ended up basically quitting. You know, stopped eating the grains recommended. Uh, you know, I was drinking a little bit of raw milk. You know, a bit of cheese now and again. All the stuff that we sort of is part of. You know, some of the recommended foods, and. Um, and that was it. I sort of uh, committed myself to that and <clears throat> carried, you know, did the program, and that was really important for me to to do um, in order for me to to sort of move forwards. And I was on this because I got used to it. I was obviously on um, restricted carbohydrates and sugars for years and years, and uh, probably about <clears throat> ten years. And I was sort of wearing extra small clothing. And, uh, you know, after a while on the program, I started to realise, and I have talked about it on this channel, that although I was feeling better and, you know, my health was great, you know, if you look at things like uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs and, you know, the love tanks that I talked about, I started to realise that um, although I was feeling much better, I wasn't necessarily happy. And I realised that there was other aspects to life that I needed to address in order for me to become quote-unquote happy so I'd literally just dedicated myself to the program for years and years and actually when I started coming out of that fog when I started healing myself I started to realize all of these different aspects that I needed to address you know things like uh, social interactions um, you know things like relationships you know looking at sort of um, you know relationships with my parents and uh, extended family um, emotional well-being, you know, setting goals, um, you know, becoming of service. So I actually realised all of these other things have sort of come across the the work of John Gray, um, who's been highly influ influential for me over the past few years especially. And he was talking about all of the love tanks, which I've talked about on this channel, about filling up the need for uh, friends and filling up the need for family and filling up the need for fun and filling up the need for relationships and filling up the need for service to the world and all this sort of stuff. And I'd managed to fill up all of the tanks, but he, do, he does say in his books that you won't feel completely content and full, unhappy unless you've got all of the tanks filled to a certain degree. And one tank that I was struggling with was the sort of romantic relationship tank. And um, I'd gone through you know a few relationships and learnt a lot about relationships. It's something that I do actually want to talk about more on this channel, Romantic Relationships. And um, I ended up finally <clears throat> meeting my now wife uh, back in 2019. And it was kind of like, um, 
the final yeah you know I'd, I'd finally filled up um kind of all of my tanks everything was sort of met all, all of my needs were sort of met and i sort of just relaxed you know i was i, I kind of relaxed a lot and uh you know so this was 2019 so i obviously been on this highly restrictive program for a long time and I kind of relaxed and I was just I just you know I was like I was healthy feeling healthy feeling good and uh, you know I just started taking her out for meals and I was just a little bit like not as extreme as what I used to be you know I wasn't worrying too much about what I was what I was eating I was just enjoying myself you know I was just enjoying life and uh, you know in a way wanted to just uh, just relax and just, you know, enjoy myself. Um, so, sort of started eating more carbohydrates and stuff and, uh, you know, maybe I'd have a drink um, now and again. And I ended up I ended up going into fast oxidation. Uh, and I think it was a combination of just feeling relaxed because uh, I'd, I'd filled up all of my sort of needs that I for life, etc., and I went into sort of fast oxidation, but healthy fast oxidation with a, with a high NAK. And I think part of it was relaxing and just feeling content. It was a nice feeling, you know, probably, uh, I'll talk about it soon, feeling content, but also probably the increased uh, sugars and carbohydrates that I was intaking. And uh, it's important to realize, you know, I think the body, you know, similar to how we've evolved, you know, as soon as it finds you know, sugars and carbohydrates in the wild, it will kind of stock up and, and put on, put on some, uh, put on what, put on some weight. And, you know, I've got to admit that the, the, them, that, that, that period, uh, you know, when I, when I met my wife and I was just relaxing more and not worrying too much about what I was eating was probably the best I've ever felt. Well, well, it was the best I've ever felt and it still is the best I've ever felt. Um, because I was fully content fully happy and the program really had permanent permanently healed me you know I could I could have uh, you know slice of pizza you know now and again I'd have a couple of pints and um, that's that but and but basically what you know and I'd read about it and when they say you know people in fast oxidation you know generally have that sort of apple type appearance you know they put bet, uh, fat fat on around the belly and stuff and uh, one of the reasons is, you know, uh, sugars and carbohydrates and, uh, you know, the body will, uh, with the body will convert that into fat much more easily as a fast oxidizer. And that's definitely, definitely, be, definitely been the case. Um, so that's the reason, really, you know, that's the honest truth. Um, and like I say, I've been, I've had, I've had a bit, bit of a sabbatical from sort of really working with clients for the past two years. Um, you know, obviously super, super passionate still about the program. That's why I built hairanalysis.report. And I've kind of just been sort of like hidden away, building the apps, you know, enjoying myself, enjoying life. Um, but I, that's not what, what God initially, you know, ultimately wants me to do. At the end of the day, I've not, you know, hammered the program uh, for 10 years just to sort of like close through life. And I felt like that was what that was what was kind of happening. I was kind of coasting, um, and uh, yeah, enjoying life, but maybe enjoying it not in, you know, the the highest vibration, um, and not not in, not enjoying it in a way that I think is probably in my best interest, as um, you know, spiritual being. So, <clears throat> as you're probably aware of, I uh, had a big crisis recently, not a health crisis. Um, but a financial crisis and that kind of shook me up a lot and it sort of um, you know I'd already started building the hair analysis practitioner application that I, I'm currently using now and it sort of made me realize that you know I need to get back into the scene more um, you know I've been doing a lot behind the scenes don't get me wrong and um, and yeah just like uh, recommit myself to um, a more spiritual direction so yeah I mean I've started sort of running now so it's not something I actually recommend to people is to is to do do a lot of exercise but I have started running uh, because I can deal with that now I mean I can run you know no problem um, 
and you know I'm, I'm not burnt out or anything like that and uh, yeah you know me we've we've uh, you know I've cl- uh, got back on the program in terms of diet wise um, but I'm not as I'm not eating uh, like I used to do so massively restricted you know I was basically just eating green vegetables and meat but that's personally what I needed and I, that's what I will be recommending to a, many clients I would imagine over the years um, because that's unfortunately the way that you're going to get out of the health situation that you're in um, but yeah so that that's basically the situation um, I don't know how people I mean when I've sort of mentioned it to people it's, I've actually got a good response because it's a sign that the program actually worked well um, and like I say it's, I, I was being the happiest I've been you know probably ever for the past four years because I'd, I'd had all of my needs met I'd relaxed a little bit yep probably over it a little bit too much on the carbohydrates and sugar as well 100 definitely have um, because of that newfound you know love for life I suppose um, and that's the reason why I've, I've, I've basically put on some weight so um, like I say I've had a I've had a, I've had a, a big shuffle a big uh, my feathers have been ruffled a lot recently and uh, I've come to a lot of realizations that this sort of just coasting through life is not is not what God wants me to do and um, I'm quite happy that it's happened um, on one level because I could feel that intuitively and um, so yeah obviously in a new direction now and a big aim for me is to uh, lose a few pounds um, I don't want to get back to how I was uh, if you look at my old uh, videos I was wearing extra small clothing uh, probably don't want to get back to that level and I pro- obviously I will be um, you know I, I have reduced my carbohydrate levels to the levels recommended on the program so I will probably will not get back down to the size I was before because I am eating you know things like cheese things like milk you know the blue corn chips um, you know millet quinoa rice it just it's just more enjoyable quite frankly as well um, you know I want to enjoy my food and um, you know whereas when I was doing uh, when I was not eating on sh- not eating any of them um, it was challenging quite frankly <laughs> Uh, to eat that way but I had to do it and unfortunately other people are going to have to do it when they're doing the program um, so that's it really you know obviously I've, I've mentioned on this channel I want to be fully fully transparent and that's the situation so um, so yeah you'll, you're going to see changes uh, in me physically over the next few months and um, you know what I, what, what I want to end with is you know the program worked. I'm a testament to the program um, that I that I have had a period of time where I've just you know enjoyed life. So that's that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and speak to you soon.